Hi, and welcome to this week's look at what's making headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Most of us know the importance of getting good sleep. Now there's more evidence, though, of how damaging poor sleep can be to your health. Research out of Australia is showing that poor sleep can lead to higher risk of heart-related death. The study showed that poor blood oxygenation during sleep predicts the chance of heart-related death in elderly men. The study looked at almost 3,000 men in their 70s and 80s. It showed that when the men had 12 or more minutes of interrupted breathing while asleep, which led to low oxygen saturation, it increased their risk of heart-related death by 59%. One of the professors on the study stressed the need for simple screening and treatment that can be done at home as part of standard health checks. Well, more warnings for those who like to refresh or cool off from exercise or work with a soda. Research in New York studied healthy adult volunteers who completed an hour-long exercise program. After 45 minutes, the volunteers rested 15 minutes while drinking either a high-fructose caffeinated soft drink or water. After the break, they repeated the cycle three more times. Researchers measured blood pressure, body temperature, weight, and markers of kidney injury immediately after and 24 hours later. The team found higher markers for kidney injury in the soft drink group, changes that did not occur in the participants that drank water. The researchers said the trial supports the idea that soft drinks should not be used to rehydrate following activity and of course that more study is needed to determine long-term effects. Finally, despite decade-old recommendations, antibiotics are still being routinely prescribed in emergency rooms for infants with viral lung infections like bronchiolitis. A recent study looked at data from 2007 to 2015 and found that about 25 percent of children under two years of age with bronchiolitis who were seen in an emergency room were given antibiotics. Bronchiolitis typically develops because of a viral infection where antibiotics offer no benefit. The study also found there was no significant changes in antibiotic prescription rates in the nine years after new 2006 guidelines recommended against their use for bronchiolitis. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter so you stay connected to the latest in natural health.